All right, so this is a car alternator. And I have turned it into a brushless motor. It's made by Mitsubishi. And we're gonna turn this. Let's come up here a little closer. Okay. Right there. Right there, okay. And I'm going to be using my uh, Mamba X. An 11.1 volt battery. I'm gonna hook up three power wires here for the motor. Point right here. Okay, perfect. You'll see this. See there's a stuck belt in there. That's forward. And I'm just going to slow it down by hand. And now we'll go in reverse. And I took out an extra step that uh, everybody that I've talked to and researched this said that I had to do. And that was taking out this. This right here is for the brushes. Uh, they say you have to excite the brushes to get it to work. But what I found out is when you uh, excite the brushes, this battery gets really hot. You only need... 3 to 12 volts right here but if, if if you do need it I don't understand why maybe somebody out there can tell me but I was able to make it go forward and backwards without that I think this right here is just if you were to turn this into a uh, 120 or 240 uh, generator which is actually pretty easy to do all of these alternators they have the three three wires and then they have another one you can barely see it in there that all three of these windings hook into and you don't use that one you just use the the wires that went up to your uh, inverter and what the inverter does is it takes the AC power because all alternators are AC power and they put it in to the inverter which puts out 12 uh, 12 volts DC which is direct current and if you are going to turn this into a generator which will be on my other channel which is going to be the name the name of that channel is LS backyard garage is you would take these three wires separate them and then you take a voltmeter and uh, see which one has are all connected and then you tape them off two by two and then hook them up and then when you turn this it will create all that and I'll get into all of that and I will do a video later on setting this up so if you are interested leave a comment and we'll tear apart this alternator and maybe another one and we'll go through it step by step all right you guys have a good I also forgot, um, I am using an 11.1 volt battery. Uh, recommended power for this is 12 volts and higher. I would recommend using a uh, scooter 36 volt speed control or a higher uh, voltage speed control from a scooter or an electric bike or something. I just did the 11.1 and the uh, the Mamba for just testing purposes and to show you guys that it can be done and I will simplify it because this is really really easy to do and then you guys can start uh, making them yourselves.